Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Scorpio, July 27, 2022. A reflective theme continues in the first half of the day, with the moon in your solar eighth house. It's a time of the lunar month for building your emotional strength and observing and planning. Events and revelations are such that you recognize the need to turn your helping and healing efforts towards your own needs. The moon heads into your spirit sector later today, and you're more interactive. You crave different or non-routine activities. Sharing, learning, and teaching are in good favor. You can be somewhat averse to routines that seem particularly dull with your new focus. Keep your daily routine, calendar, and work schedule light today. In fact, if you're too focused on the details and cracking the whip, you'll miss out on all of the fun. Venus, our lesser benefic now orbiting in the degrees of a fellow water sign will shout across the heavens abruptly to catch the attention of mighty Jupiter, the greater benefic. This ensures that you'll feel optimistic, generous, and in the mood for love, whether single or attached. This jovial mood will aid your personal life by giving you the chance to be sensual, sweet, and humorous. If taken, plan a sweet night of intimacy, or if single, consider setting up a first date. How can you enjoy your professional trajectory? Of all the squares to occur, Venus in Cancer square Jupiter in Aries is by far one of the better ones as its reactive nature is willing to take the lead with the development of your job. Instead of blindly charging forward, you should consider what commitments are worth pursuing so that you can further your professional progression. Venus encourages you to think about what aspects of the job you want to nurture so there is something to look forward to in your work life. Your ego should be feeling charged today, and emotionally, you should be feeling strong. This doesn't give you permission to be reckless, however, in fact, your greatest asset is your slow, steady, and methodical way of handling your finances. Keep yourself stable and grounded at all times. You have a distinct advantage over others today, thanks to your keen eye for detail and critical way of thinking. Private affairs will run smoothly thanks to your relaxed and open manner. No nasty surprises are waiting around the corner and you have the chance to finally clear up an old misunderstanding. You are obviously a good listener and give your family and friends the feeling that you're on the same wavelength as them. Watch out for the new types you're hanging with right now you're flashing back to old times. Don't adopt an anything goes attitude just because the cool kids are doing it. Wherever you go people are pleased to see you. Your poise, self-confidence in matters of the heart opens doors and you come across as rather an interesting proposition whenever you arrive on the scene. Be sure to make the most of your availability and fully employ your willingness to show interest in others. Today you might find that some of your more ambitious plans could finally seem to be getting off the ground. You should be happy about this, but you might actually go into a panic, fearing that everything could crash at the last minute. Don't assume the worst, and don't waste any energy worrying. Keep striving. You've gotten this far, and with a little effort all should go well. Hang in there. The energy of this day can give you the courage to bring your ideas forward. It is usually pretty easy for you to face others and to pitch your ideas, even when you think you're unsure of everything. With the added boost you'll get from this vibration, nothing is going to hold you back. Your confidence will soar. Don't think too long about telling others your ideas. Go for it. Things will go your way once you apply yourself. Having the moon in an adventurous part of your chart in the heart of the working week might sound like a case of bad timing but this is an advantage on both sides of life's fence. In the lead up to the moon's return to your career sector tomorrow and the new moon this will create at a pivotal point in the year on both the job and career fronts, this can guard against overthinking things. Even the professional gods are calling for a wait-and-see approach for another 24 hours while the Moon and Venus are fueling a sense of adventure that will be hard to ignore. Having Venus, the planet of love in an adventurous part of your chart is bringing the spirit of romance and adventure together while an alignment with the Moon today is helping to amplify this even more. The Moon is also connecting with the two planets in retrograde motion in your romantic sector, 
amplifying a mix of romance, adventure and nostalgia that is here to stay. Our eyes in the sky. But don't just lean into a different vibe and blindly leap forward. On a bad day, Pluto can bring out power struggles and triangular relationships. Note that, love triangle, doesn't necessarily mean that a third party is involved in a personal relationship. It can also mean that things like religious issues or a desire for professional acclaim and fame can stand between you and a partner. Power struggles are common with a Moon-Pluto opposition. The need to always be right and in control can cause arguments. Pluto in Capricorn opposing the Moon in Cancer can add obsession and heaviness to relationships and projects. With mental Mercury in Grand Leo today, you've got your eyes on the prize. Let the little people deal with the details. Right now, you're all about the bottom line and the big picture. You're the star of the show, and, as such, you shouldn't have to deal with all the intricacies of daily life. Let someone else sort them out, right? You've got better things to do. A Venus-Jupiter square can definitely rain on your parade as it showers you with jealousy from others and also makes you a bit envious yourself. There's more than enough positive energy to go around, but this selfish aspect doesn't make it seem that way. Does having something yourself mean you're taking it away from someone else, and vice versa? The greatest lesson of the day is learning how to be happy for others when something good happens rather than feel sorry for yourself. Where is your gratitude? Following our intuition can lead to a magical endpoint, but because the trine is an easy aspect, we might be content to idly daydream, rather than journeying down a rabbit hole of esoteric hunches. Creative and artistic practices will especially benefit from this influence, and we will be especially receptive to music and color. We are also supported in learning more about our friends' dreams, doing so might inspire us to back their causes and support their visions. After sunup, the moon opposes Pluto, a transit that can cause our emotions to vacillate. We might perceive that our safety is at risk, perhaps due to a tenuous financial matter or a crisis of resources. In responding reactively to this perception, we make choices that are not in our best interest, as it is nearly impossible to make informed, considerate decisions from a place of stress and fear. The moon begins its void of course following this aspect, which will last until the late afternoon. During this time, seek stillness, even if it is uncomfortable. The realization of the issue itself is the important piece here. When we have calmed down and can assess the situation rationally, we will make better moves. Indeed, we may be able to solve this problem handily with a few smart adjustments.